Hi guys, this is Mike Greer, and what you're looking at is my desktop on my Windows 8 computer, and it looks like a Windows 7 desktop, as you can see. Coolest feature down here in the corner is the Start menu, just like in Windows 7. All of your familiar tools, devices and printers, control panel, and all this, you know, your documents, your downloads, and your favorites, and all that stuff are really right there accessible and if you notice down here in the bottom is a little goofy clicker thing and you click on that and up comes the charms bar so you can go back if you wish to the start menu and open up your windows 8 collection of tiles but since most people are using windows 7 apps if you're doing serious work with your computer you're going to find yourself needing to get that computer to behave like windows 7 or do a lot of extra training. So I think the Windows UI answers that uh, the question, how can I make Windows 8 behave more like Windows 7? So you see where my cursor is, I go down here in the bottom right corner, and you notice in my Windows 8, we have the taskbar down there in the bottom we're looking at. And we go clear to the corner as usual and click that, and up comes the, the standard desktop. So here I'm free to run all my Windows 7 applications and so forth. I also have my my, uh, all, like I say, all of the start menu items and the full control like I used to have, the shutdown options and all of that stuff. Um, what's really great about this is that uh, you're also able to control the way it behaves. As you see here, the, you, you have a lot of choices. Do you want it to open? You want your computer to open? I do. I have my computer open right on the desktop. I get involved in the start menu. You can control how this, which things appear in the start menu. Uh, how tablet view behaves, what kind of taskbar uh, icons appear. And there's something called Enforce, which is part of Retro UI, which uses a unique technology to cause the Windows 8 apps to behave in a little better way. And, um, rather than getting into it, I'll, I'll let you look at the tutorials yourself and investigate. But the bottom line is the Enforce settings make those uh, uh, Windows 8 apps behave uh, in a little bit more uh, familiar fashion. You can control keyboard, uh, your, 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 your hotkey settings and that sort of thing. So um, this, uh, I am not in any way associated with Retro UI. I do not get any compensation for saying, get this thing. Um, I, uh, what's really important though, is that you consider if you're not, if, if you don't have a touch screen, if you don't have a need for the new Windows apps, for heaven's sakes, use make your Windows 8, that new Windows 8 computer, behave like Windows 7 by installing Retro UI. And here's some of the features you'll find in the Retro UI Pro 3.0 tutorial. Uh, I mean, it's only $4.99 for this thing, and you put it on there, and, and suddenly my wife doesn't want to kill me anymore because I got her a, a new computer that runs Windows 8 uh, because it behaves in a familiar fashion. Um, so. I'm going to leave this up and I'm, I'm going to let the video stop here and just say get retro UI and eliminate the need to train people on using Windows 8 unless you're using Windows 8 apps. If you're not using Windows 8 apps, then why should you go through weeks of training to get people to use a, a new kind of Windows? Um, just make your Windows behave like Windows 7. That's it.